Lorraine Gross, probably never heard of her, probably never will hear, uh, hear of her again. <laughs> She's the daughter of Greg Gross, the guy that essentially, uh, with his work, Tiffany and Company, the acclaimed jeweler, helped create, modify, bring to us the Lombardi Trophy as we know it, right? The sort of pedestal and then the football perched on top. And you saw what Brady did, as I mentioned, completed two touchdowns to Gronk in the Super Bowl, one to A.B. and one to a boat about five yards away. We'll call that a slant pass. We'll put that in the box score. Lorraine, the daughter of the creator, saying, Tom, you're having too much fun, and you're disrespecting my dad. And it takes a lot of work, a lot of hard work, um, a lot of hours go into it. It just really upset me that this trophy was disgraced and disrespected by being thrown as if it was a real football. I didn't sleep for the past two nights because of this. I was that upset oh, because oh. I, I know the, the passion that goes into this trophy and how my dad and all, all his fellow silversmiths are so proud to make this. I personally would like an apology, not just to me and my family and the other silversmiths, um, but to the, to the fans. Huh? I did. I died. I, an apology? I apologize an apology? for Tom. Uh, I apologize for throwing the yeah, trophy, I and I won seven of them. I, I, I don't understand how we get to this point. I know everybody has their, their say, but She must be wow. like a Kansas City fan. Got to be. I completely agree that Tom should issue an apology. Sounds like a can You sound like a Kansas I, City fan. Yeah, Are you a Kansas to, City you fan? Can, yes, I am. Uh, you exactly. Kansas City so sound like a Kansas City to, fan. To, to, to her, I think he should apologize to me because I've been what? sad since last Sunday. What? Man, come on, man. We need Stop. apologies. What? Apologies all around. What? Apologize, Tom. The, what? Uh, By the way, silversmith, a cobbler, like what is this, the 1800s? Like, I've never yeah. heard of these things. <laughs> I don't even know what would prompt somebody I, even to put that out there in the universe. That was not from Saturday Night Live. On That was actually a real uh, soundbite courtesy of Fox no, 4 there in Tampa. She, he should apologize because he tossed the trophy from one boat to the next. What was it, 48 hours after winning or something like that? Right. They're having fun and, and they're, you know, might have a little tipsy going on there. And so it's just out there just talking. And the reality of it is you're not going to be able to sign everybody back. That's just the reality of it. You know, you got a pecking order and you start at the top and you try to figure out how to get to some of the most important pieces. It wouldn't be a shock that they didn't sign an AB back, right? Even though... A.B. was a good experience for them, I mean, a good experiment for them. Yep. And then at the end, they may just say, you know what, that one and a half, two million dollar number, we can use that on Shaq Beard or Godwin or some of the other pieces that make all the sense in the world. They're not going to be able to sign everybody, though. I feel like I would want to prioritize Shaq Barrett and Levante David. And when you talk about Godwin and Fournette, if I can make that work, I feel like Fournette he had incredible stretch down the, down the stretch, incredible run down the stretch. But I, I also feel like Ronald Jones is a really good running back that can help you there. Um, do you go after OBJ in the market? Keyshawn, is that, is that something, you know, a trade that you can potentially put out there? Uh, there's, there's still so many moving parts, but I feel like it starts off with Levante David, Levante David and yeah, Shaq Barrett. Yeah, but if Barrett. you go give OBJ the money, why wouldn't you just give it to Godwin when he's healthy and OBJ is coming off of ACL and you got to give up draft picks? It just let's try to sign the guys that we can sign that's on our team first, our own free agents, and then let's address the draft, and then let's address the opportunity to maybe bring others aboard via trade, things of that nature. Because there will be people in free agency – that they'll have to sign that you may not even be thinking about the third corner, the fourth safety. Uh, the fourth safety may decide that his opportunity to get on the field is better with the Philadelphia Eagles at a better number than it is with the Tampa Bay Bucks. The Tampa Bay Bucks may decide that that third right guard is better somewhere else, and they may draft the guy in that position because the cap number is lower. So you got all these little moving parts to, to build a team for the next season, and we just kind of – Sit and wait. I'll, but the number one priority is Shaq Beard. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN Plus right now.